those automatic rain sensing wipers though. Good morning everybody and welcome back to the vlog. So it's uh, early morning, I gotta go train a client here pretty soon, but I'm leaving early enough just to get my cardio in. So uh, like I said in one of my other videos, I'm just doing about 25 minutes um, on the treadmill. Usually I do high intensity cardio, but uh, this time I'm switching it up and uh, I wanna try doing five days a week at just a 25 minute uh, incline fast paced walk on the treadmill. Uh, it's easier for me to do it that way and uh, I don't know, really it just comes down to it different, being different. I usually do high intensity cardio every year when I try and lean out and uh, this year I wanna try some lists which is low intensity steady state cardio. So uh, we're gonna try that this year and uh, it's been working out pretty well actually. So I'm doing, like I said, five days a week 25 minutes on the treadmill walking at an incline fast paced and uh, it's not for everyone there's different types of cardio for different goals um, high intensity interval training which is hit cardio is really beneficial I still think it's the best but I want to change it up this year so I'm gonna go do about 25 minutes of that then I got to train a client and then we're gonna get into this vlog so if you're wondering like I said I always drink these in the morning right now. I'm kind of obsessed with them. I don't know, they taste good and they're easy to drink in the morning. And then I got my Bang. So I'm gonna start off with the Bang, do my cardio, and then I'll drink the Myoplex and uh, some Smart Water because, well, I'm stupid. So, let's get to the gym. And so I don't know if you guys have noticed or if you guys really care, but um, with my Sony a7S II, that's the camera I'm using right now, I'm always trying to figure out the best color settings for it. So if you guys don't know, um, there's what they call picture profiles in these cameras. And uh, that's what's cool about this camera. And you know, obviously Canons do it too once you get to the full frames. But uh, they shoot in a log style, which is shooting in like a flat picture profile. So everything looks kind of washed out. And then when you edit it, it brings it back. But I'm always messing with the in-camera settings, doing research online at night, uh, just trying to find the best settings for the camera and really trying out new settings. So if you ever see the vlogs are a little bit different colored or uh, they're a little overexposed or underexposed, uh, I apologize, it's just because I'm messing with the settings and I figure vlogging is the best time to do that. And uh, I don't know, I just really like playing with the settings and seeing what other ideas people have uh, with the settings out there. So I'm always constantly trying new things and I think that's the best way with anything to advance. And no, I'm not a pro videographer and I'm not trying to be, but I really like doing it for fun and on the side and I like helping local businesses. Um, I just recently did another one for a local hair repair company. If you haven't seen that, it's actually on Facebook. It's called uh, Heavenly Hair Repair. But uh, maybe I'll cut a little clip in here now. But yeah, I just did a video for them and obviously I do all the videography for Contagion Athletics and so I'm always constantly trying to improve on that. So about every night, you can ask Kennedy because uh, last night we were on the phone and I ended the conversation with her because I was like, hey, I got these two videos I need to watch on uh, some color profile stuff for the Sony. So. Um, like with anything, if you want to get better at it, you need to do research and you need to constantly uh, be watching videos on how other people are doing it. And it's not, you're not copying other people, but it's helping you get ideas and trying different color profiles because there is a science to these color profiles and to shooting in log. So that's all, just trying to get better. All right, guys, so I just got done with my cardio. About, like I said, about 25 minutes, 3.6 miles an hour, uh, about a six incline. So I'm just doing that five days a week, Monday through Friday. I like doing it. I kind of get a, I get to walk on the treadmill, watch some YouTube videos. Um, like I said, hit interval training, high intensity interval training. I think it's a lot better. It's superior to the list, but they both have their benefits. Um, I like, I don't know. I like switching it up all the time. So this time around for leaning out this year, I'm gonna try this. So I gotta go train a client and then uh, we'll continue this vlog. 
Alright guys, so I was sent these aux beam LED light bulbs for the Dodge uh, Ram 2500, so F169005 is the part number and uh, it's a really nice box that they come in so I ordered these from Amazon, they are actually sent to me by Oxbeam but I technically ordered them through Amazon and they just gave me a code for them so kind of just unbox them real quick here for you guys oh, they're actually really nice this is really nice packaging actually for so these are only about fifty fifty five dollars on Amazon so they're Oxbeam USA there's a little booklet, there's some instructions in there and here's the actual LED light bulbs. Actually, feel like decent construction. Look like a copper anodized color. And these look like the anti-flicker housing. So that's nice that they come with those. However, we'll see how that actually works because I've had anti-flicker housings before and they still don't work. So um, we'll see if these actually work. So we're gonna install these. If you don't know, it's a 2017 Ram 2500, and these are Oxbeam USA LED light bulbs. So let's install these, and then uh, we'll do some night clips to see how they actually look at night. All right, so there's a little access hole back here. Just pop this out, and there's a 10 millimeter. There's another 10 millimeter right here, and there's one more way down there, way down there. Probably can't even see. All right, so I got the headlight out. You kind of just gotta, you gotta get the the bolts and then just kind of wiggle it out um, so you get the one from the the two from the top there's the one way down there then the one up top and then you kind of just uh, and then you gotta get the one from the back side and then just wiggle it anyways then you want to take off this back cover there's uh, four eight millimeter little screws like this and then you just unclip your stock light bulb twist it out and then you just twist in this is the new one so there's the new one, just twist that in there, and then this is going to simply just plug into right there. For ease of installation, just remove the entire grill, it's actually pretty easy, there's these clips to hold this little plastic cover, and there's bolts underneath, but uh, I just undid one side at a time, but for ease of installation, just take the whole grill off, it'll be a lot easier in the long run. So I'm going to do the other light, and then... Uh, we're gonna jump to a workout edit and then I'm gonna show you what these lights look like at night. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that workout edit and uh, we're finally to the main part of this video which you guys have probably been waiting to see which is what these aux beam headlights look like at night so I'm actually not done with work yet once I finish with my last client at the gym I actually head over and train a family at their house so it's 8 o'clock and I'm gonna go train my last client and then uh, I will show you guys what these headlights look like at night and I'm honestly really excited to see what they look like and give you my honest opinion um, the right one, the passenger side, is out, so I'm guessing when I put the headlight back together it must have came unclipped or something, so I won't be able to show you what they both look like together, but I'll show you the single light, and then uh, when I get home I'll get it fixed and torn apart. Headlight off, trying to fix the other one. Here is the aux beam, and this is your stock halogen bulb. Put it in there for a fair comparison. So, halogen versus aux beam. Alright guys, so this side right here is the aux beam USA LED light. This side is your standard halogen uh, bulb from the factory. And there's aux beam. So on the left side, the driver's side, you got the aux beam. 
And then on the right side, you've got the stock halogen bulb. So pretty big difference. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. So yeah, actually the passenger side bulb didn't work, but I already emailed them, they already responded, so they're gonna send me another one. But um, other than that, I'm really happy with the aux beam headlight. I think it makes a huge difference. Um, so the LED light bulbs are definitely worth it. I'll do a long-term review on them, but they do have a one-year warranty on them. So, and for 50 bucks, I don't think you can really beat that. Um, being is that I bought a Laramie Longhorn, you would think it would come with HIDs, but it doesn't. It just comes with kind of the projector style headlight, but you don't actually get nice headlights in this truck that was $70,000. So, is what it is. But um, thank you, Oxbeam, for sending those out. I'll be looking forward to my replacement headlight bulb. But uh, I think they make a huge difference. I'll do a little driving scene here at the end so you can kind of see on the road the Oxbeam versus the stock. Uh, OEM halogen bulb, but make sure you guys always comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at VanV39 for the most up-to-date stuff. And uh, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up, really helps out the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe and uh, share this video with someone who you think might like this channel. And we'll see you guys on the next one.